Really pumped on this one. Welcome back to the channel. We have a matte black shower head that we are going to be showing you and installing. Matte black is the new color, gold and matte black. Of course, if you want to go brush nickel, the company offers those other colors as well. Just like all my videos in the description box right below the video top link, I will have this linked as well so you guys can read more about it. Pick one up yourself after the video is finished. I am in a full remodel and I'm looking forward to upgrading pretty much the entire house. It's a full remodel and when I say say full remodel, like everything goes. <laughs> everything you see behind me, it's all gonna get repainted. This is actually wallpaper. I just kind of did some things while I'm in a temporary office. So with that said, if you like videos like that, make sure you're subscribed and also hit that thumbs up button on the way in. Let's get it out. Let's go ahead and install it. And matte black is gonna look super sharp in my bathroom and your bathroom as well. If they sell it in the UK, I will have you guys linked as well in your separate category in the description box below. Let's get it going. Alrighty, let's see what we have inside. They actually give you some gloves. That's pretty cool. Wanna make sure your install is looking really good. Not to mention, check this out. Haven't seen like an official certificate of listing by a company before, that's pretty cool. Talking about the plumbing fixtures, etc. Okay, so very nice. They give you plumber's tape. This is inexpensive, but you don't wanna run to the store, especially after this arrived and you're all ready to install. So plumber's tape, also called Teflon tape, Make sure you wrap that around and we're gonna show you in the video. All right, let's grab the main components here. We've already seen the gloves and the plumber's tape. So let's go ahead and number one, take a look at our hose here. And it looks like we have two extra gaskets or those might just be the two gaskets that are included. So getting a very nice matte black. Let me give you a guesstimation on that. That's a hair longer than my wingspan. My guesstimation, that's about a five foot hose there. That is in a nice matte black finish. Once again, let's get out this little guy here. This is gonna be our holder for it and we're gonna get some better shots of this inside the shower obviously. So our shower head goes here. This goes into our wall where the main pipe comes out and then our nozzle head down over here goes in right over here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our main unit. Very impressed with the packaging. Again, I think I've already said that plenty of times but I am that they actually give you cloth bags. This is our shower head right here. This of course is gonna be the top of it right here. Again, nice matte black as we can see in the sunlight coming through the window. Obviously, this is where we put on our hose right here, using plumber's tape on everywhere where there's thread, here, here, and then on the pipe coming out of the wall. That's really nice. Take a look at that. We're gonna show you all the different modes. Don't worry about that. Here you have your different clicking modes. Actually, no, you're clicking around quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven different modes, it looks like. You got your big ones up here, all your small ones all the way around, your ones right in the middle there. Very nice, great finish to it. Now let's show you how to install it. All right, let's go ahead and install it here. Now, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna see these little plastic caps and little green threaded things here as you pull off the little plastic caps. These are just two spare O-rings here that comes right off those little green things, de-thread, just unscrew them from each side of our hose here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the shower. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew our main unit from the very back and just probably donate this whole entire thing to Habitat for Humanity. Now go ahead and remove any remaining plumber's Teflon tape. So get rid of the old stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on the new stuff. All right, there we go right there. I like to roll it around a good five, six times easy. And also I wrap it around clockwise because as I'm gonna be screwing this on, now I would also highly recommend putting on the tape before you put it on, it's just easier. And then I'm probably gonna to have to need two hands, but let me screw this on nice and hand strength tight. Okay, and then the, after you hand tighten it, on the very back, I'm not sure if it's kind of hard to see or not, then get a 22 wrench. You can get a uh, crescent wrench, anything on top of there. Don't go too tight, but you're gonna go nice and go and then stop. You don't want to put too much pressure on that water pipe back there. So go nice and tight, but don't go like try to like Hulk Hogan kill it. And that again is this back one here. You're tightening that onto the back water pipe here. Then for some reason, if this isn't situated properly, unscrew this. Remember the direction you're looking at. So go ahead and loosen it up like this, this direction. That's going to be able to give you the pivot that you need and then lock that back into place when you're finally ready to set it perfectly above you in the precise 
position. Okay, now wrap the shower head portion with Teflon tape on the threaded area here. All right, the smooth side right here is what I'm talking about, the smooth side, just kind of the more aerodynamic is the one that goes into your shower head here. And just tighten that up nice and hand tight. The side that has more of like a nut looking into it, that's the side that goes and screws in right there. Obviously making sure Teflon tape is on there if you haven't done that already. And like I just mentioned, Teflon tape is underneath this side here as well. So you're gonna Teflon tape three different areas. All right, that's a larger nut. That's gonna be like a 24 mil, and the one back there is gonna be a 22 mil. Now let's go ahead and put it in position and then tighten down our area back here. All right, that looks great there. Nice and tightened down in the back. Beautiful, long extension hose there, plenty of room. And it depends upon your back tube, how your back tube is. And sorry, we're in the middle of a full remodel, so I'm gonna be covering up the popcorn. So the shower obviously doesn't look like pristine, but just wait until after the remodel. So you're gonna definitely wanna be subscribed to the channel for this. But this is a nice upgrade, pretty full gut remodel of this bathroom. So it's looking really sharp in here. I'm looking forward to my shower, but let's go ahead and crank it on here. I won't put too much water in there. I don't want it to drip on the floor in front of me without the shower door closed. So this first mode is like just a trickle. Let's say you want to use the wand for, for let's say, in giving your small child a bath, maybe your dog, etc. Let's go through these pretty quickly here. Next one, let me go ahead and point it this direction a little bit. Next one here is going to be just the center. And then number three is going to be the center with all the ones around the area here. Fourth one is gonna be just the exterior ones. Fifth is gonna be these ones kind of going in a kind of a squirty motion. And then number six, we're gonna to go to like almost like a mist. And I think if we put it straight here, I don't wanna to splash too much water around, but it's more of a mist. And then that wouldn't trickle if it's straight down like it should be but I just have it at an angle because of that. And number seven is gonna be kind of slight mist with just the middle. And I think that, oh, nope, we got eight. Eight is nice and thick in the middle. Do we have more than eight? Nope, okay, so eight. So eight different modes it is, folks. And make sure you run it for a good solid minute, making sure you have no dripping in your wand hose here, no dripping here, and no dripping here. If everything looks good to go, you have installed the Teflon tape nice and beautifully. Okay, let me turn this off. Folks, I like what I'm seeing so far, but I need to get in the shower. I'm looking forward to that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, fresh out of the shower. Wow, this is no joke. I have not had a delicious shower like that in months. Sure, it was nice. It had high pressure, but this one, I think I was on like number four click and it was just coming down because the way my down tube is and the way it was just kind of straight out, almost like a rainfall. It was very nice, it, it was very nice. I installed a tankless water heater, so it's just continuous hot water as well. I think for the value, I think the shower head is amazing. I think it's a great price as well. Again, that link is straight below, top link in the description box. Also, if you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up button on your way out. And just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on the way. Also, if you like videos like this, a DIY projects, LED custom slat wall, accent wall, custom enlarged window, custom closet, custom door. We're in a full remodel like I already mentioned. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe on your way out. It's right over there. It's free. Free 99. Take care. Bria and I will see you on the next video. Bria, say goodbye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.